ahead on this first season of Standard Bread. There'll be trotters. Well, Greg, as long as I've known him, he's always said he's wanted a... He loved to train a beautiful trotter. This New Zealand Horse of the Year is king of a breakthrough generation of square gators. Mon Bay does exactly what he's designed to do. Trot. Cleanly. Naturally. Quickly. And for a long way. Greg and Nina Hope's beach training environment is well known for its contribution to their success now. It heals and improves standard bred racehorses physically and mentally from the rigours of racetracks and race days. The long straight run is perfect for trotters and a key to the well-being of the champion the Hopes bred and still own themselves. Plenty of time for a good yarn. Incredibly, when we arrived there, we didn't have a book, we didn't have a catalogue, and the horse, I said, what lot is it? And he said, I, he said, well, I don't know. So we, we managed to grab a book, and she was literally walking into the ring as we arrived, lot 68. So we went up there, not registered, never been actually to an auction in our lives before, didn't even know what registration was. But anyway, the, the auction started to take place, and I started to bid, and uh, he was still, still had a bit of that, uh, that brown stuff in his veins, and he was bidding as well. So they stopped the auction midway and say, hang on, are you guys together? What's happening up there? You're bidding against each other, you're together, what's going on? We'll make some room for drinks and reflections. It smells like uh, Turkish delight or light cheese. Um, oh, yeah, light cheese, I've got that. And on the, on the taste, you get spicy finish to it, which comes from the phenolics in the skin. We were wondering what we're going to do for the rest of our life, and we thought, oh, we've got the money now, maybe we should uh, put it into a vineyard and try and make a Make make sort of nice wine because yeah I in 2001 I went to Lincoln University to a post grad diploma in in uh, wine making and uh, viticulture um, and it you know, just followed on from there we we bought this property in 2001 and it was bare land then and uh, planted and built the house and paddocks and put the track in it's tiny as far as vineyards go it's um, only 2.2 hectares but uh, there's almost 10,000 plants in here, so it still takes us a fair while. Before the science and technology really kicks in. Well, I think if, you, if you're happy and relaxed and feeling well in yourself, then it's got to all contribute, doesn't it? I'm not saying it's, it's the be all and end all, but every, everything, everything contributes to this. There's so many factors that affect, environmental factors that can affect fertility, we know that. It's, you know, and he's getting on now. Too, so age is not is not um, being kind, as, as happens with all of them. Um, yeah, it, it just makes it a bit harder work, but more challenging for us to try and get the results and get some more of those really good progeny on the ground. But first, a group of young people wanting to breed their own champion harness racer? Who'd have thought? <laughs>